Hey, it's Tyler from ActiveBeat, and today we're covering Brussels sprouts. Let's dig into it. Brussels sprouts are known as a cruciferous vegetable, meaning it belongs to the Brassicaceae family. Several other vegetables are found in this family as well, including broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and bok choy. Cruciferous vegetables are fantastic for providing lots of vitamin, fiber, and phytochemicals. Brussels sprouts have been around for quite some time, although the Brussels sprout we know today likely originated hundreds of years ago in Belgium. Today, the Netherlands produce the most Brussels sprouts in Europe. So let's talk nutrients. How you cook Brussels sprouts can affect the nutrient level, so we'll refer to the value of 100 grams of raw Brussels sprouts. For starters, you're getting over 100% of your vitamin C and K, which is remarkable. After that, you're getting more than 10% of vitamins B1, B6, B9, and B12, iron, manganese, and phosphorus. That's impressive. Beyond those nutrients, there has been research into the phytochemical sulforaphane found in Brussels sprouts for its potential anti-cancer properties. Conclusive correlative evidence may not be apparent, but a study in 1996 by the Journal of American Dietetic Association reviewed research and concluded that more than 70% of the studies found a link between cruciferous vegetables and protection against cancer. Sulforaphane appears to stimulate enzymes in the body that can detoxify carcinogens before they cause damage to cells. Preparing Brussels sprouts can be a bit tricky though. For starters, you'll want to begin by cutting the buds off the stalk and peeling away any loose surface leaves. Once you've got a nice firm sprout, clean it up and get ready to cook. Common cooking methods include boiling, steaming, stir-frying, grilling, or roasting. If you want to make sure as many nutrients stick around, go for steaming your Brussels sprouts. The trick to a good Brussels sprout is to make sure that you don't overcook them. This is what leads to a lot of people disliking the associated odor and strong flavor that comes with overcooking. I personally just go with boiling my Brussels sprouts for simplicity, but one of my favorite dishes is quite simple. I boil my Brussels sprouts for about half the time it takes to cook them through, and then take them out, dice them up when they cool a bit, and toss them in a stir fry. Or even just with sautéed dried salami or Hungarian sausage. And that's Brussels sprouts. Your turn. Do you enjoy them? Have any preparation ideas? Add your thoughts in the comments and let us know. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe and check out our related videos. Until next time.